our job, Vic. Why are we fixing the pipes? We're not heating engineers. No, we're ambulance men. It's not our job to fix the central heating. Well done, Ted. Got a good volunteer. What did she say? Didn't hear a word. You see, I don't just think of you as a surgeon. I think of you as a very warm and lovely hip hop. Uh, what was that? Dr Matthews? Can't hear a thing. I just thought it'd be a great idea if, if one night we went out to the cinema. I'm sorry, Dr Matthews. I didn't catch any of that. <sighs> That's better. Now, what were you saying, Dr Matthews? I'm all ears. Well, I... Surgeon Sally, Dr Matthews, new patient for you. Eustacia, a little mouse. I'm on my way. <clears throat> oh. Dr Matthews? The new patient? You know, sometimes, Kitty, she doesn't listen to a word I say. Aren't you going to examine her? Examine her? Kitty, I can't even get her to go out to the cinema. What is that racket? Can't anyone get any sleep? Now, Eustacia, do you have any pain? No, I live at 3 Green Hill Lane. Eh? Now, Eustacia, when did all this start? With my granny. Oh, Matthews, I'm not getting anywhere with you, Stacia, here. Won't answer any of my questions. No? Well, let's have a look, then. This won't hurt you, Stacia. She looks after me. Hmm. It looks like you've had an infection which has given you glue ears. Jam sandwiches. We'd better keep you in tonight, you, Stacia, and keep an eye on you. I'll be six next birthday. Hmm. Not cooking? Yes, we've done enough for today. No, I'm not leaving this one. Got to leave the pump going, Dr Atticus. Or it might flood. See? But how's anyone going to get any sleep? There. Now you have a good night's sleep, Eustacia. Good night. Under my pillow. Hmm. It's all right for some. How are we meant to sleep with all this noise? It's like living in a drain pipe. Down a bit. Now left. <laughs> <laughs> Eustacia has sticky fluid here, between the eardrum and the inner ear. You know, Sally, if you don't like the cinema, perhaps we could go to the opera. Opera? Yes, I think you're right, Dr. Matthews. And as soon as possible. That's it. Not again. I've slept a week. No! We won't get any sleep. Not with this racket. Good morning. Can I help, Ted? Help? If you want to help, you can pass me an armor. Right, Ted. Turn off the pump. What do you mean? I already turned it off. Can't you turn that radio off? It's driving us batty. You stay shut. You must turn it down a little. Thanks. You look nice too, Nurse Kitty. Don't do that. I can't hear it if you turn it down. I know you, Stacia. You have a problem with your ears. We need to operate. Operate? But I don't want an operation. I'm not going to have one. Don't worry, you, Stacia. It won't hurt. And afterwards, you'll be able to hear perfectly. No, I don't need a bedpan. <laughs> You see, we're not plumbers. No, 
We're ambulance men. And we thought that what with you being so scientific... I might find a way to stop the radiators rattling. No, no problem. problem. Dr Matthews, Dr Matthews, Eustacia won't have her operation. She absolutely refuses. Yes, she does. Sally refuses everything I suggest. I was talking about Eustacia. Honestly, Kitty, sometimes I think you don't listen to a word I say. <sighs> well, here we are, Ted's. We've invented something that will solve the problem. Yes, can't fail. It's scientific. Hey. We've invented these. We call them earplugs. You put them in your ears, like so, and you can't hear the radiator. Well, that's no good. That's not going to fix the radiator, is it? Anything the matter? Nobody appreciates science. No, our brilliant ideas are all wasted. I know what you mean. We need to put a grommet in Eustacia's ear, but she won't have the operation. Grommet? Yes, it's a little plastic tube. It drains off any sticky fluid in the ears. That's it! it. Thanks, Kitty. I don't know. Vayek. We've got a new invention. This one will definitely work. It's completely scientific. What is it? It's a grommet. There's too much water running through the pipes, so we put this in to take away the extra water. What is it? A grommet! A bit like the one they want to put in your ear, only bigger. That's it. That's done the trick, Ted. Ah, that's better. Peace at last. Wow, I want a grommet too. I want a grommet. And you shall have one. Let's go and tell Kitty. No, I usually wear wellies. Right, everybody, let's get down to business. Where's Dr Atticus? Uh, coming. Do you think Sally would like to go to a football match? Come on, Dr Matthews, we need to get on with it. No, kick-off isn't until 3pm. I'm talking about Eustacia's operation. You don't listen to a word I say. Right. Scissors. Scissors, Sally. I said scissors. Anesthetic ready. Anesthetic! Why isn't the anesthetic ready? Oh, I'm about to perform a delicate piece of surgery. Why isn't anyone listening? How do you feel now, Eustacia? Oh, much better, thank you, Dr. Matthews. I just wish it wasn't so noisy in the ward. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Feeling a bit peckish. Well, that's that sorted out then. Anything else? There is one other matter, Sally. If I could just have a private word. Well, Matthews, what is it? I was just wondering, Sally, if you'd like to come with me to a football match this afternoon. Eh? What was that, Matthews? He says, do you want to go to a football match this afternoon? Mmm, get your ears arranged. What? What was that, Matthews? He says you should go 